Shelly Singh is 19 years old, but at her age, she's already world number one in under 20 in the long jump. She's number one in Asia and nobody has dominated the sport in such a way ever before at her age. Shelly came within 8 centimeters of breaking Anju Bobby George's national record of 6.83 meters set in the 2004 Athens Olympics long jump final. Shelly has the second longest jump by an Indian woman at 6.76 meters. Her coach is none other than Robert Bobby George, husband of Anju Bobby. In a special chat with NNI Sports, Robert said she will be the big thing after Neera Chopra, I believe. Now we have uh, said the things in a long term process, like you know, it has uh, six years of basic build up and two years. So she is just 19 years. And we have started the program in, uh, in 2018. So four years almost over, and this is the fifth year. So it may take two more years, you know, to you know get a mature, you know, mature Shaili. So uh, I am seeing, sir, you know, Shaili will replace Sanju's record in, uh, you know, uh, within uh, you know, one year or so, and uh, she will rule the world in, you know, in long term in by 21 years. She'll be the big thing after Neera Chopra, I believe so. No, the thing is that uh, she is the best talent I have seen after and you, uh, you can say that after long 25, 25 years I am seeing a, you know, such a talent in women long jump. And think that she got injured last year after the World Championship at a young age she got an injury. But she recorded that. So I am not disappointed at Shaili because it's too much you know, asking something, you know, big thing is in that 19 years. Nobody has performed so well from you know, India or Asia you know, at this age. So she is currently at 19 years, she is world number one in under 20 and uh, seniors, you know, she is number one in Asia. So nobody has dominated in such a way ever before. Robert Bobby George and his wife Anju knew she was a potential star when they saw Shelly compete in the under 14 junior national athletics in 2017. Within a year, they got her to join their academy in Bengaluru. We asked him if she can make it to the podium in the three big global events including Olympics, World and Diamond League. Why not? She has already achieved a silver medal. When she was at 17 years, she won a silver medal and she lost the gold medal by, just by one centimeter. And she is you know, from uh, uh, um, giving a data like you know, 14 years onwards, Shelly is managing her position in top list, best of two in the world. Like uh, under 15 she was managing, under 16 she was managing, under 17, under 18. At the time, you know, she was world number one, 19. She is uh, managing, you know, she is in the top of the world right now. So I think that the same thing in junior to senior, you know, like uh, this will, uh, uh, transition will happen and she will rule the world in senior also in, you know, in a two to three years time. And uh, this is like, uh, you know, sports is like, you know, like uh, winning and then losing is a part of the game. Things that that makes the sports more interesting. If the answer is definite, you know, it is not interesting. If you know that the match is, you know, result, then what is the excitement in that? That's why people are, you know, waiting till the last moment. It, you know, dramas can happen anytime. Even injuries can happen. That is a part of the game. See, people who are, you know, dare to, you know, compete, they come out of home and fight and sometimes they win, sometimes they lose. Others, you know, they just sit at home and lose their itself. So she has got the guts to come out and fight with the world. That's why she is here. And sometimes it happens, like, you know. And, uh, you know, I cannot, you know, she is doing well right now, one thing. And some of ups and downs and small injuries until you stabilize things, you know, it is, so I have to go for a longer build-up for the next Olympic preparation. So I am planning that. So I have to wind up the season in a, in a good note. This one with the Asian Games gold, that's what I expect from Tai Lee, nothing less than that. Robert feels Shelley could have done even better had she not been hit by COVID. She, you know, she would have been in doing better. She got a COVID, you know, after immediately after the Bangalore competition where she did 6.76 meters. So she was bit down and she lost some, you know, she had to take some break, you know, like a two weeks complete break. So that has affected our rhythm, but she is back to home right now. So we are getting for a bigger jumps. The Asian Championship is the first competition. And immediately after that, we are trying for a Budapest, you know, Grand Prix on the 18th of July. Then we have World Championship from 19th of August. And then there is a Diamond League in Xiamen, China on 2nd of September. That will be the first Diamond League for Shaili this year. And then Asian Games. End of September. Robert has seen some of the best jumpers in the world. Ah, uh, like yeah, skill-wise, you know, this, uh, you know, uh, Mikambur, like the world champion, is one of the you know a good long jumper. And there are other Americans, you know, Tara Davis, she's a good jumper. And we have seen that, you know, tech, you know, even it's not only the distance, you know, the 
style and the technique has to match. See, not only technique, skill, the style also has to be there. So I think Shaili will be one among that in, the, in a couple of years. When asked about the use of data and analytics in modern sport, Robert explained. No, we are using it. We are getting the support of you know, Sports Authority of India, you know, like a biomechanics experts. And we are you know, using all the possibilities of sports science in, available in India right now. He listed the five events where India can excel in world sport. Yes, you know, we are Indians. You know, we can, I believe that you know, India can uh, dominate in the even long jump, triple jump and high jump. And in uh, light implements like uh, javelin and discus throw. We were you know, good in uh, discus throw at some times. So these are the five events we can focus in field events. Like players, even coaches need to upgrade their skills and Robert is keeping an eye on that front. Yes, yes, I'm you know, keenly watching. So I'll be watching more on uh, coaches than the athletes. So whenever we are in competitions or you know, whenever meeting people, I'll be you know, closely watching them and trying to learn new things and you know, stabilizing my own you know, concepts. His parting shot is interesting. He believes Shelly would be as big as Neera Chopra. Uh, Neeraj had got a you know bigger victories at the age of uh, you know, 23 onwards. Shelly will click you know, even before that, I believe. And she will have a you know, longer career because she is too young compared to Neeraj. You know, Neeraj at least three years advantage than Neeraj.